one more stopping point for the Jules Verne. That will come uh, moments from now when it reaches uh, 11 meters or 36 feet from the station, at which point the final go for docking will be issued uh, by the three flight control teams uh, that are working in tandem with one another. The lead flight control team for the European Space Agency in Toulouse, France, the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, and the International Space Station Flight Control Team here in Houston. And the uh, Jules Verne automated transfer vehicle is at its final station keeping point, just uh, 36 feet away, 11 meters away. This is where it was on Monday before the uh, test commands were sent by the crew to abort the approach and send uh, the ATV back into its phasing orbit for today's docking. Now uh, all three flight control teams are beginning their uh, conferences uh, to receive a final go for docking. Commands have now been sent to reinitiate the approach of the Jules Verne. The automated transfer vehicle now inside six meters, approaching the crew hands-off point. Three meters away, standing by for contact and capture. Docking confirmed at 9.45 a.m. Central Time, just south of the equator over the Atlantic Ocean. Around the world in 26 days, the European Space Agency's Jules Verne automated transfer vehicle is pulled into port at the International Space Station.